Sir, can I get a quick question? Can I get one quick question? Are you familiar with the Council on Foreign Relations or Bilderberg yeah. meetings? Yeah, I've been one. I've been to a Bilderberg meeting. Do you think it the was kind of, kind of, kind of? Uh, you know, if you think that uh, they're going to hatch a conspiracy there, I'm sorry to say that um, they couldn't put together a two-car yeah. funeral. Well, do you think that they should be charged with violating the Logan Act when they meet members of other foreign governments now? No, that's a violation. If you meet members, of, I don't think so. If they, I mean, if they have, members if of they're wanted in any country, I talk to people in you know, the British cabinet. I talk to if, people, if, the foreign minister of Mexico. I talk to people. If so. they're wanted, it's if, if they're wanted for a Logan crime. Act in prohibits country. any citizen from conducting yeah, foreign policy. I talk to a lot of foreign officials. I think it'd be kind of crazy not to. Can we ask what happened at the Bilderberg meeting you were at? I talked to lots of ambassadors. They had a lot of meetings where people spoke. A lot of. Uh, you know, uh, people in governments or have been in government positions, people in major financial institutions. A lot of the things they said were intellectually interesting. Uh, I can't think that any of them was hugely surprising. This was in 07, and I can't, I don't have a real good re recollection that people anticipated what would happen in financial you know, markets in the next few years, but I think. Thinking back, I think there was a widespread feeling that there could be some problems ahead. And I think it's intelligent for people with major responsibilities to meet and think about things like that and potentials that, uh, that may occur because they're going to have a responsibility to deal with them. Uh, yeah, there, there was a sort of sense that, you know, we'd have this nice long period of prosperity, low inflation, economic growth, and there could be some problems. Um, we're having some problems. Yeah, well, I, I, a few. I, I think it was smart, you know. Anytime the ideas of the Constitution and a piece of revolution are popular, there's really big problems with Washington. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I, I just can't respond to that. We've, got, we've deviated from the Constitution for so long that basically government, the deal for everybody. Well, there's one of the nice things about the Constitution is that it gives you an avenue for protest to register your views in the political marketplace uh, and in elections when you think the Constitution is not being followed. So, hey, I hear a lot of talk about the Constitution. Yep. Um, I'm always fascinated to hear presidential candidates asked how they would amend the Constitution because the president doesn't have any more power to amend the Constitution yeah. than you or me. Correct. Correct. Uh, or at least you. I, I'm in D.C. I can't vote for members of Congress even. Yeah.